Welcome back, everybody, to another Friedman Adventures podcast video. It is so great to be down here at H&M Landing in San Diego on board the Malahini with my dear friend, Captain Bill Wilkerson. The bite's been tough for the full-day boats offshore. It's been hit and miss. There's been a few days of really good yellowfin, then they disappear. There's a lot of bluefin around, but they don't want to bite that well, and the kelps have been pretty dry recently some smaller yellows and a little bit of dorado but overall it's been tough so that means you've got to get tough a couple of ways to get bit right now lighter line is definitely the key option fluorocarbon gives you a huge edge you want to fish that 20 or 25 pound and flat fall jigs man have they been hot it's a great way to get bit fishing the flat falls or by dropping down it's a beautiful day, and Bill's got us headed out, but now it's time to get serious and start looking for schools of bluefin. Oh, my goodness. Don't go, don't go, Stay here. Come back here. Start your mind. Just start your mind. One, two, three. Right off the start. Look at that fish. Oh my god. Guys, if you got a flat fall, 40, 50 feet. 40, 50 feet here. Oh, jack of fish is underneath this boat right now. It's crazy. Guys, the stuff is 25, 30 feet here, guys. It's gonna bite. It's gonna bite. You gotta be quick. You didn't get him shot at. Got three hooks. to get a lot more active now you can see birds everywhere good jag of birds off our bow here these birds give these fish away all the time hang on everybody let's let's hope we get into one that wants to bite Rod had three of the six bluefin on board fishing the iron. He said he just listened to Captain Bill Wilkerson. That's how he got it done. It was so nice to meet Rod, who drove all the way from Utah for this Friedman Adventures trip. A real gentleman, and he pays Sergio, attention to the you crew. You've been on this thing for a while. 15 pounds, you got a bite. Huckleberry, looks like a nice one. Good job, Sergio. Coming around. Look at those buddies back up in the bow now. Need oxygen? Sergio, I need oxygen. Mike. Right, I got the tape right here. <laughs> I need it. Let's go the jig. I'm missing three discs. Are you? Dude, I hope you don't have a disability claim with this uh, video going up. How many laps have you made around the boat now? Three? three? Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, Bill, he's almost got 10,000 steps in today. Oh, exactly. That's a good thing. <laughs> Lap number four, ladies and gentlemen. You're all right with that drag. Need so mad. Yeah, me too. There you go. Oh, man. Sorry, man. You did great, man. Time to start looking for another one. Oh, my God. Drop them jigs down, drop them jigs down, drop them jigs down, 60 feet. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, somebody hook one of these things. That's Rod from Utah on another fish fishing the iron. He actually had a bait ready to go when he heard Bill say, drop your iron down, drop your iron down. He took his bait stick, put it in the rack, got his iron, and he was off to the races. Daryl, get him. Go, Rod, go. Daryl. There you go. 
What do you say, bro? Uh, he's small, but it'll work. There's no mystery to it. If you want to know what tackle is working best, ask the guys who are out there day in and day out. Ask the crew members and they'll help you. Come on, Daryl! Go <laughs> oh, easy, Daryl. Look at that He's piece. kicking your butt. <laughs> I thought you said it, it was small. Yeah, well, what the hell are you taking so long oh, for? What's going on? <laughs> Daryl seems to do well on just about every trip, and when I need him for a charity event, he's always there. Great guy and a nice catch. Good job. Greg, Javante, good job, boys. Greg, get on! I was just looking down at you, hoping you'd get a fish. To say Rod was red hot would be the understatement of the trip. This angler, also from Utah, had his fish inches from the gaff when the fish's struggles paid off and it gained its freedom. So sorry, man. Oh. Hey, Patrick, you're missing it, bro. Happy birthday anyway. Hope you have a great day. Hey, Patrick, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I hope you're having a great day. Missing out on some good burgers here and limits of tuna. So maybe next time. But have a great day. Please. You want it nice and fast for me. Yeah, Tremonte! And so it was not a wide open day on the water, but I have to tell you that it was another successful Friedman Adventures podcast trip because of the people on board, from Captain Bill Wilkerson to his crew, to each and every one of the folks who came out with us. It was really a great time and so good to see so many people coming back on our trips. We'll see you, everybody. Make sure you tune in for our live podcast on Sundays and become a subscriber today. Thanks again for being on the trip, and thanks for watching, my friends.